and such have got other problems. Now, some of the folks doing these counter punches apparently are using such like steroids and stuff which ain't allowed. And that ain't right. And that could be affecting the way they're thinking when they're on the alcohol too. And it's very tragic the way they're doing it. But I got a I got a theory as to why there's so many brawls and fights around the place. And it makes Billy Jack sad for instance. Very simple. A lot of these young men who are drinking and hollering and causing troubles, getting sucker punches, and the reason they're doing it is because of the ladies. And it ain't because of the ladies. It's because of the lack of good ladies. <laughs> right? And here you have a society where ladies just don't need men no more. They don't care about men. They don't need them. They got their toys, and they got their jobs, and they got their little holding barinas they can drive all around the city. And they got their folks they can go home crying to, and they got their girlfriends, and they got their secret lovers, and they got their lives. And men are just kind of a sperm donor, right? And a, and a wallet. Somebody you can rely upon to get you three hots and a cut and not much else unless you really would like it. Now a lot of them fine young women folks are looking for more than that, but a lot of them ain't. But here's the thing, friends, there is a shortage of attractive young women in the market for dating pretty young men. And so the young men get frustrated. Because a lot of our fine women folks have had enough. And they've just decided to pack up their bags and leave to places that they like better. Places with good public transport and nice bars where you can dress up all fancy and not get a fist fight happen right in front of your eyes as you're drinking your cocktails or your beers or whatever the heck you're drinking. <laughs> and they've just decided to be part of Generation 10 because they don't want to pay half a million bucks for a shack of sticks and bricks somewhere out at the ass end of some ghetto suburb like Clayfield, and they don't want to be at the mercy of bogans who think they'll be millionaires from housing by rent. <laughs> so they've just decided to go somewhere exciting as far as they can tell. Like over in uh, some important city over in one of them fancy countries overseas. So that means there are even fewer women in the dating pool. And then a lot of women just give up because they don't like to be part of it. And so that makes it bad. And she got fewer and fewer. And so these men are fighting over what's left. Slim pickings, as they call it. So the only way government can fix this up is to import a lot of the most attractive women on earth, and I'm sure all the fighting will stop. Because then the women will be fighting over us men. And that's the way it should be. So I'm calling for Mr. Newman, who is already, as you can see from my podcast, I've given you conclusive proof as to why he is one of the greatest premiers in the history of the state of Queensland. <laughs> Mr. Newman, it's time we opened up the doors and fast-tracked them fine women from the wilds of Asia into our country. And we 
really fast track them, especially in their regional places, and you've done a good thing by this. I think this is one of the most outstanding policies in the history of our country for the last 100 years. It's time we boost our regions so we don't become like them inbred folks over there in Lama Land where you've got two places to live, London and not London. We don't want to become like that here. We want to have strong regions where folks are intelligent and cultured and such in many different parts. Now, Queensland's already got that, but we could do it even more. So, Mr. Newman is correct in doing this. But it's time we open up the gates and got them fine young women from the wilds of Asia <laughs> come over and to calm down our young men make beautiful music and monkey love together. And it's time, Mr. Newman, we even stepped it up and got some of them fine young women from the wilds of the Russian tundras <laughs> come over and make it even better. Anyway, that's just one old man's opinion. You can take it or leave it. That's the Billy Jack truth. And what do y'all think of that? Now, be sure to click on the link to the right of my channel a Bachelor's Bible by me, Billy J. Jack, the Duke of Bachelors. And remember, friends, to share, rate, subscribe, and please tell Billy Jack the truth below. I'd like to hear your comment. What do you think of this? Time to import them fine young women, and that cow punching stuff will stop pretty darn quick. Okay, friends, please tell Billy Jack the truth below. Bye for now.